Hi, and welcome to Disabled Dating with Mindy. This is the series that we do on Saturdays in which we talk about dating, all the issues surrounding that, and then throw in disability and how all of that kind of turns the world on its head. So today we are talking about just doing it, but not in that way. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you how to have sex. No, no, I am not. You can figure that out on your own. Instead, I will tell you how to not be afraid of doing things. Um, and I mean this in the Nike slogan kind of way, like, just go out there and do it. Because sometimes, as persons with disabilities, we have to look at a situation differently, we have to analyze how we're going to do something, but that shouldn't stop us from going out there and trying something new, whether it's with your partner or alone. Like, some of the worst dating experiences I have had are just people who all they want to do is talk to me about how things would work and they don't actually want to take me on a date and try. They'll be, Mindy, can you play mini golf? Yeah, I can do that. It's, uh, it's something I really like to do. Or, okay, well, what about bowling? Yeah, I, I can I can do that. Well, then how would how would something like hiking work? Well, it would be a, like a longer hike or, or a shorter hike. Or we would do um, a hike where we could stop in between different campgrounds. Like, it's all doable. It just has to be done differently. So once you have that kind of conversation, instead of having more conversations about it, you kind of just have to go out there and do it because otherwise you, first of all, will never be in that situation to know what you can and cannot do. And second of all, you don't get the experience of trying to figure things out when you're in a situation. And I know for some people, depending on the situation that can be harder to do but if you are confident enough in your injury or in your knowledge of your own self and your own disability then you should be able to in whatever way you do go out do things and figure out how that those things are going to work within your ability level. So that is all I have to say about this topic. I wanna know your experiences though and what you guys would say on this topic because I think one voice is powerful, several voices is game changing. So please let me know what you think about this topic and other topics down below in the comments if there is a issue you would like me to cover, whether you're uh, disabled and you're just entering the dating world, or you're able-bodied and you just would like to know how something would work within dating and dating a person with a disability, please leave it down below. I, we're an all-inclusive community here and we're all really nice people. The comments are some of the nicest comments I have ever really seen so thank you for that keep pushing whatever you're doing and i will see you in the next one